Dear students, today we will discuss about intellectual property. You might have heard about the term IP in your life. So the intellectual property is ideas, information and knowledge. And this is called intellectual because it is creative output and property because it is viewed as a tradable product. So this means if you have come up with an idea that is unique in the world and you need to protect others to use that idea so you can use the IP in different forms to protect your invention. So we will be learning about those type of ways that how you can get the protection. So intellectual property rights are specific legal rights which protect the owners of the IP. And there are different types of intellectual property rights based on different dimensions. So for example, one of the way that you can protect your idea, you can patent that idea. So the patent is a legal monopoly lasting 20 years granted in exchange for describing an invention and paying fees to the patent office. So normally the patent office is in USA. So that is the main patent office. So this means that if you patent your software, your idea, so for 20 years, no one can use that idea without getting information, uh, permission from you, or without paying you. Patent is destroyed if disclosed before filing the application. For example, if you publish that thing, so that is destroyed, except in UK for short time. So this means that if you want to publish your idea in the form of research paper in some journals or in some conferences or in some workshops, seminars, symposium. So you should try to first think that is it pa patentable or not. So if it can be patent, so then go for it. The next protection is known as copyright. Copyright is also the usual way of protecting software. Although some software may be patented if it is functional part of an invention, otherwise it can be uh, used as copyright. Then there is a database right. Database right apply to databases which are not protected by copyright and EU right only. Then there is another form known as design right. So in design right applies to aspects of the shape or configuration of an article. So unregistered design right, which covers computer chips, for example, so those type of things can be, cannot be patented, they cannot be copyrighted, they can go with the design right. Then there is a trademark. A trademark is a mark, logo, or other distinctive sign applied to or associated with products or services, and that cannot be used by someone else. Then there is a confidential information. So confidential information is knowledge which only you possess and which you have only revealed under a non-disclosure confidentiality agreement. So you might have seen some of the emails from some organizations which says that this message is confidential. So here are some of the parameters for those intellectual properties. For example, the patent covers inventions and you need to apply and it can last for 20 years. Copyright, it is literary, musical, artistic work and software you can cover and you do not need to apply for copyright and it is valid until 70 years after the death of the author. Then registral design that applies or covers only images, look and feel, and you need to apply for it, and it lasts for 25 years. Then there is a registered trademark, that could be name or logo of a firm, you need to apply for it, and this, the duration of its validity is unlimited. Then there is a confidential information, that is unpublished secret information, 
and you do not need to apply and its duration is unlimited and then database write it can cover only databases and you do not need to apply and if you cover that last for 15 years so let's summarize today's module we have learned about what is called ip the intellectual property we have defined it we have seen intellectual property rights and its different types and we have compared that which type of intellectual property right covers which type of things and how for how many years it lost valid